What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new sneaker shopping guide video on Sneaker Talk. Now every single month at the start of the month, we go to the local malls and see what sneakers are sitting, what are the best shoes you can buy right now, and also what is on sale. So these are going to be like my best sneaker recommendations for you guys in this mall vlog. And I actually have a brand new sneaker pickup I want to show you guys as well that Adidas Canada sent over. So they might be sitting at the malls, I'm not too sure, uh, but it is a brand new Fusion sneaker. All right. So, we have a blue box right here at, and let me lift the camera up. The place is a bit messy, as you can tell. I have to take like a Converse sneaker collection photo for Instagram, but I did just upload a Converse sneaker collection video, so if you guys wanna see that video, check it out. It's like the best sneaker collection for Converse on YouTube. No bias at all, obviously. This is the brand new pair of sneakers from my friends over at Adidas Canada, so thank you to the Adidas Canada team. When two icons collide, Meet the Super Stand. Two iconic Adidas sneakers into one, and uh, it is in honor of the 50th anniversary of the Adidas Superstars. So here we have it. This is the Adidas Super Stand. It has the upper of the Stan Smith, and then it has the sole and like toe box of the, uh, the Adidas Superstar. What do you guys think about these? Are these dope or nope? Let me know in the poll in the top right hand corner of the screen. Would you wear these? I actually really, really like these, and I prefer these a bit more than the, uh, the traditional Stan Smith. And uh, yeah, let me throw these on feet, show you guys what they look like, and we'll head over to Yorkdale Mall, a luxury mall in Toronto, and they have the only Chick-fil-A outside of the one that's downstairs from me. And uh, they also have the OVO store, Foot Action, Full Locker, Champs, Nike, like they have so many really dope sneaker stores there. <laughs> You know the mall you're in is bougie when they have every designer brand, and then they also have a Tesla dealership inside of the mall. I gotta say, they've done quite a bit of construction since the last time I was here. They, I think, completely got rid of the Hall Renfrew, and now they have like dedicated Dior stores, Balenciaga, and the list goes on. And now they have a Chick-fil-A here, so I was tempted to have Chick-fil-A for dinner. I got mad walk and said the lineups are still crazy long for Chick-fil-A here. But the very first store we're gonna check out today is probably my favorite one here. It is Foot Action, and uh, I'm expecting some heat, so let's see what they got. So let's start off with the Nike section first. I've shown you guys these sneakers a few times in the past, but I gotta say these Air Max 97s are really clean. These are going for 225 plus tax. It's this like Olympic pack they have. So this is the black colorway. They also have a yellow colorway. Really, really dope too. Also 225 Canadian plus tax. And then they have a red colorway here. So which one is your favorite? Let me know in the card in the top right hand corner. Next up, we got the Air Max 1. These are actually on sale for 25% off. So depending on your location, you might have a sale or not. I absolutely love the Vapor Max Plus sneaker, but I know not everyone's able to keep their white sneakers clean for very, very long. But these are 25% off. Retail price was $255 Canadian plus tax. That's like the price for Retro Jordans. So have that price with an extra 25% off. Here's the price on screen right now. And uh, this is the most comfortable Nike sneaker I have in my collection. I love these things. I have the Sunset colorway. So they have quite a few Air Max Pluses. So I'll show you guys all these colorways in a second. But this is a new colorway that just came out in March. This is a uh, sort of Chicago themed one right Right here right up top with a black gradient to the bottom part and you have this like windy blue on the bottom these are clean and these are going for 210 plus tax i'm also a sucker for anything bread you guys know that so they have a black and red colorway here too for 215 plus tax and these are pretty funky too i i'm not really a fan of these they have quite a few colorways of the uh the air max 270 react and a lot of them are on sale right now so it's probably one of the best times to buy the air max 270 react we have the all black colorway here the cheapest one they have here is a hundred dollars and it has these like Easter kind of vibes so just in time for the Easter season but I know not too many people are gonna mess with these ones and if you're a fan of classic Nike sneakers we got the Nike Cortez for uh, 
25% off now, $75 down from $100. Next up, we got the Nike Air Force One section. You've seen these at the other foot actions in the past, but I like these. These are some dope Air Force One lows with the, uh, the contrast stitching on the side right there. They're 145 plus tax. And if you're not feeling this red colorway, they also have a blue one here and a black one too. These right here, the Nike Blazer Mid 77. These are one of the best sneakers you can buy right now at malls. These are $135 plus tax. I think they're a great alternative to the Nike Off-White Blazers or maybe the Sakai Blazers. Basically, the Blazers are back and uh, these are a really dope colorway. It's sort of like a maroon deep red on the side right here. They also have gray as well too. And they also released a blue one, so some stores might have a blue pair. Here is a look at the Air Jordan retro section at foot action quite a few uh, one mids we have some 25% off Jordans here too not too crazy about these but they got the tens they also have a pair of 13s too I feel like these will end up at the outlets so I pass on these two for now guys but these are crazy these have some like crazy iridescent kind of print on the side these Jordan 9s I'm not a fan of Jordan 9s I think they look like big bulky boots maybe if you want to wear Jordan 9s as a beater in the winter but I can't get with these these bread toe Jordan 1 mids I gotta say these are probably the best Jordan 1 mid you can buy at the moment besides the royal version that just came out as well these are really clean but I showed you guys these in the past these these are really nice too I, I don't know which ones do you guys like more do you guys like the bread toe or the royals let me know in the poll in the top right hand corner of the screen these are still sitting everywhere the air jordan 3 unite still one of the best sneakers i think you can buy in terms of retro jordans at the mall before retail price is 265 these have been super super popular i think in the philippines as well these are the air jordan one low in this very deep red colorway it has some sort of shine shimmer on the uh, the leather on the side here but these are 120 canadian plus tax quick look at the uh, the boost section we have the ultra boost a few nmds these right here are what i'm wearing right now the uh, the superstar the super stands that's what they're called so yeah we got the uh, super stands we've got some other nmds right here these are pretty crazy this iridescent midsole with the boost is insane they also have these dope nmd r1s this is a all black colorway with hits of adidas branding on the boost we really haven't seen that very often so that's pretty cool and this sort of like ray on the the block has some sort of shine to it looks a little weird but it's still pretty cool and these are dope too these are the nmd r1 v2 more of a tech wear kind of vibe out of these nmds i like these definitely want to grab a pair for a review soon and then here's a black and white colorway of the nmd r1 v2 and then they have that sort of xeno colorway as well with that reflective material on the side these are fresh checking out the converse real quick we got the chuck taylor 1970s in this really dope red colorway these are regularly 90 dollars now they're 60 dollars plus tax i actually just uploaded my my converse chuck taylor collection i'd add these to the collection but uh i'm gonna i'm gonna hold off for now maybe i can get them for like 50 40 dollars but 60 is still a really solid price for the chuck taylor 1970s i also won't wear these anytime soon because of the canadian snow so that's also uh preventing me from buying these shoes and then if you like the off-white chuck taylor 1970s they have two similar versions in terms of the aesthetic with the, uh, the see-through panels on the side as you can see right here if you missed out on the off-white ones they have these ones right here I, I really don't mess with the colors they used on the side if they went for like a basic white some more neutral colors then I think a lot more people would be interested in them but this sort of color scheme is not something I feel like a lot of people will mess with kids woman section right now and they have these really strange Air Jordan 1 mids I thought these were the pine green Air Jordan 1 sitting for a second but they're not they're a pair of like women's Air Jordan 1s pretty cool colorway this is actually pretty dope. It sort of reminds me of the uh, the original pine green with the the white on the side, but it has hits of red on the uh, the Jordan Wings logo and the Jumpman. Not too crazy about that. But over here we got the Puma and Helly Hansen collaboration right here. We got the Puma suede's. These are pretty cool. I can mess with these. I like the the contrast stitching on the side and the Puma riders that they have. These are really dope. We haven't seen a Puma rider like this before. These ones have like that knit upper. Usually they don't have this material. They also have like a sock like upper here too on the side. Sort of like that nike flynet racer kind of vibe and then we have the exposed tongue i really like this colorway this like black yellow accented one these are really clean i just really don't know much about the brand Hallie hansen i think they do like outdoorsy clothing and boots similar to uh, timberland and maybe like the north face never really had Hallie hansen on my radar before and uh, these are going for 150 canadian plus tax so there was our first store foot action next up we're going to be going over to champ sports and then foot locker and maybe nike store but i'm hoping champ sports has some pretty cool sneakers and uh, if there isn't really that much heat here at this mall We'll go to Scarborough Town Center, a different mall, later this week. 
Ultra Boost from the newest metal pack on sale for $200 now. I love these things. The silver chrome hits on the back. They have the gold ones too, also on sale for $200. Easily one of the uh, the best running shoes you can buy at the moment. And these really, really pop. So if you were looking for these to go on sale or you're waiting for them to go on sale, now's the time to swoop in on these. Now, I thought they only made one colorway for the uh, Super Stands, but it turns out they also made a red colorway too. I like these a bit more since red's my favorite color. But if you are a fan of the OG Stan Smith, that green one's going to be uh, probably the one you like the most. These are pretty funky, man. Some Nike Element React 55s. These are going for a hundred dollars now, down from 175. So pretty good savings on these right here. Very very colorful. Puma section actually has a lot of stuff on sale right now. So let's start off with the Puma RSX. These are going for eighty dollars now, down from 140. We got the Buzz Lightyear inspired ones here for eighty dollars too. The black and white ones, very clean. Hundred dollars, good for daily wear. I really like these ones. Oh, with the RSX3 already on sale. One hundred dollars down from one forty. So this is a uh, solid color if you're gonna wear these like every day and then we have the uh the og colorway or one of the og colorways also on sale for a hundred dollars basically all the puma rsx3s are on sale for a hundred dollars so here's another one then we got the puma future rider right here these are going for a hundred and ten dollars plus tax i love these and most recently they released this black and red colorway these are nuts i absolutely love these and i actually think i'm gonna have to buy these today because these are these are fire. Here's a quick look at the Jordan section. A couple of pairs on sale that were not on sale at other stores, but we'll quickly show you guys the Jordan 1 Mid. This is actually the very first Air Jordan 1 I ever bought. It wasn't a real retro. It was a Jordan 1 Mid, all white colorway. Not the exact same materials, but this was back in 2014 or 2015. So yeah, they have the white mids. They have the black mids as well. And the black ones usually have like this new buck material. Doesn't look like they changed much for these over the years. But the, uh, the one shoe that is on sale that I haven't seen at other stores on sale are the winterized Air Jordan 4s. These are now going for 200 Canadian plus tax down from 265 really good price point especially in the the cold winter months we're in right now in Canada but if you're not from Canada these probably aren't screaming out to you like they are for me all right we just cashed out at champ sports the next store we have to go to is the Foot Locker house of hoops yo these are crazy probably one of the best looking sneakers today the Kyrie 6 all-star games these are insane the red the gold this is like all my favorite colors all together in one and it really looks like a yeezy too honestly because of the strap but uh yeah these are these are fire what do you guys think about these fire or not let me know in the card in the top right hand corner retail is 185 canadian plus tax the smallest size they have though is size 10.5 unfortunately so it's a bit too big for me these are pretty cool too the air force one low all-star weekend for 145 dollars it has like hits of satin on the back the red the blue and on the inner sides it has some yellow and purple too pretty dope but the smallest size i have is the size 11 unfortunately pretty clean shoe though so there wasn't that much heat sneakers here sitting at the mall uh yorkdale mall surprisingly but we will come back and i'll show you guys the sneaker consignment store with some of the most expensive sneakers that they sell here and we're gonna have to do part two of this video at a different mall with some more heat comment down below your favorite sneaker you saw in today's video and i'm gonna chill and uh, relax and edit this video some iced coffee. Ice coffee gang, where you at? Catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.